why is it called One Piece? <laughs> when I'm in a million of them. <laughs> oh, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our way from Impel Town to Marineford today. <laughs> Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. I'm reading this earlier than I thought because I loved Impel Down so, so much. I think it's probably nearly joined my favourite arc of One Piece so far as I'm reading through it for the very first time. I do think, oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to like really sit and think about this. But I have just been so invested in One Piece, like since the beginning, but especially recently since, I would probably say the end of post Aeneas Lobby, when Ace and Blackbeard had their fight, and we found out that Ace had been imprisoned, and he's on the chopping block. He is going to be executed, but not if I have anything to say about it. Ace is my favourite non-straw hat, and I love him so much. So I was on the edge of my seat during the entire Emble Down, and I was so close. They were so close to saving Ace. Like, literally a hair's breadth. Hair's breadth? Does hair breathe? From actually saving him. Like, they were just seconds, seconds uh, from reaching Ace. But alas, Ace has been taken to Marineford, and that's where we're going. So buckle up, because we aren't even there empty-handed. The Marineford arc lasts for 31 chapters. It is chapters 550 through to 580, and it spans volumes 56 through 59 of the English translated volumes. Yeah, it's far too early, because I haven't even premiered my Impel Down publicly yet. My channel members have had it for the past couple of days. It's only Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm getting Marine Fit out now, like a whole week early. If you'd like to try my channel membership for early access to videos, for exclusive live shows, then the link is in the description box. It is just for One Piece. Genuinely don't think I have anything else to preface this for saying, just other than I am literally shitting myself. I can't handle anything right now. I'm gen- in general, I'm just an emotional mess, you know? I might be a Taurus, but I have a Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising, so I'm just a sensitive boy. And Ace has been the love of my life since we first met him. Well, since we first met him shirtless in Alabaster. I mean, we did meet him previously in Drum Island briefly, but since Alabaster we've been engaged, we're being engaged to marry, so we're gonna have to start planning this when we're gonna have to get him the fuck out of there. Luffy, I believe in you. I believe in us. Right, let's stop stalling. I, this is all this is, is stalling. I, oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Stone for a few more seconds. If you do end up liking this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on my journey reading One Piece for the first time. And no spoilers for the future, please. Keep it all up to Marine Fit in the comments below. Thank you. Now let's actually save Ace this time. God, I've just finished the first chapter and I'm like, what? We're getting a bit of history on, on Ace here. We're getting to find out more about his mum and dad. I, I'm trying to process, I didn't, I did not think instantly the very first chapter, because, you know, I do these chapter by chapter reviews. It usually takes me a little while to get into the arc, you know, and like a little while for me to be flabbergasted by what I'm reading. Straight away, <laughs> straight away, we got some soap drama shit. <laughs> okay, and I'm also going to try and stay in the one place during this entire video. I had a problem with audio in the previous Impel Down video and it caused a lot of chaos. I call it audio gate, and I do not want another audio gate happening again. So I'm not gonna touch the microphone. <laughs> I'm staying where I am, and just, I'm gonna read through Marineford so I don't uh, accidentally knock some kind of audio thing off. Anyway, what the fuck? I mean, firstly, you know, we do have Aces in Marineford, and he's literally already where he's supposed to be executed three hours before it's supposed to happen. Like, what? Like, are they just, like, making him wait there just to think and reflect on life? I mean, yeah, I guess it's better putting him there than in a cell and impel down. But still, it's like, it's being televised. Everyone can see it. Everyone's watching him for three hours while he's just there waiting for death. But yeah, I mean, I just love the tension that was immediately brought into it because we get little flashes of different places, you know, like East Blue, people watching on their televisions and in public places and people talking about like, Whitebeard, like, is he actually going to show up? Like, I don't know, is Whitebeard going to show up? I mean, Ace said that Whitebeard is his father, is his father. I mean, obviously not his blood father, as we found out by the end of this bloody chapter. And that whole like found father versus like blood father kind of thing, it's like... 
it's it's beautiful to see that in Ace and YP. Like I really hope we do get to see more of them together and we see more of their relationship, how they've developed and stuff like that. Because it's so important, I think, to Ace as a character, to YP as well, to see that that bond. But also the lens, the lens that Ace's mother went through in order to save her son. What she kept him in her stomach for 20 months. I mean, I don't know if it's still just like nine months normally in the One Piece world, you know, it could be totally different between like species and, and stuff like that. But like, I have a feeling that 20 months is like way longer than is like naturally right. And so like she put herself through that. Like no wonder she died after childbirth or during childbirth. I can't remember which one was said in the previous arc, but like obviously she's dead, right? She's dead. Ace doesn't know his mum, which is so sad. And also, so does that mean now that Okay, hang on, I even mentioned, oh my god, I'm sorry, like, I'm all over the place. So her name was Pocas de Rouge. Your mother lived on the island of Batarella in the South Blue. She hid her child in a womb for 20 months in order to save it at the cost of her own life. Your father was executed one year and three months before you were born. And you know what, as soon as he said that, as soon as he said that, I was like, we're not going there, are we? We're not, we're not, are we? We're not, and then I turned the page, your father was Gold Roger, the Pirate King. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's messy. That's messy family drama for you, isn't it? Oh, God, Ace. Oh, you didn't even have his real, like, parents to begin with. And it looks like Ace never knew that, or maybe he did. I don't actually know because, like, he looks pained as he says that. I don't know if he's pained because now everyone knows about it, or if he's just, like, in shock about this revelation. I don't know. I'll find out. I'll find out if Ace actually knew all along that Gold Roger was his father. He actually looked very surprised by the revelation that his mum kept him inside her for 20 months. So maybe he didn't know that. Maybe. Oh my god. Uh, oh, Kobe's there as well. Oh, but I, was, I wasn't even paying attention to Kobe. I was like too busy looking at Ace, of course. Only three hours until Ace's head rolls. No, because Luffy is on his way. Luffy's almost there. They're at the gates of justice. And I'm pretty sure he will be fine. He will be fine. And Garp gave Goldie Roger a promise. He said he would look after his son. So he needs to get him out of there as well. So Garp needs to do something. But the city of Marineford as well actually looks really cool too. It's pretty much empty. It's where all of the Navy personnel people live and like their families and stuff. But they've been taken to Sabody Archipelago in order to like watch the execution. Because obviously they're anticipating an attack from like Whitebeard, from Luffy and all of this. So... Oh, please, wipe your head, please. Oh, please, 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 please. Come and help, please. Oh my God, stop, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. My beloved son had better be all right. And then air shouts, pops. Oh. oh my God, I've got chills. I'm so happy. I'm so happy, wipe your wipe head. I'm so happy, wipe your head. See ya. <laughs> and he's huge as well. I, I, I know I've seen him before, but like, it just amazes me every single time I see him. He's just like, he's just a specimen of a man. What can I say? Oh, I'm coming is Pops. <laughs> I love the way that the ship comes up through the water as well. Because yeah, the gates of justice open. There's so many pirate captains and pirate lords from the new world coming. And Whitebeard is nowhere to be seen. They're like, where the fuck is Whitebeard? And then, pfft, from like the water, like from below the water, just psh, like freaking magic. Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, there's just like so much like to love about this. Oh, I love the fact that Garp and Goldie Roger were like, yeah, anime. I think I knew this before that Garp would chase Goldie Roger around. But the fact that Goldie Roger was like, yeah, we have been fighting for a long time, but that's why I trust you. You know, I trust you to do the right thing here. And like the right thing is to save Ace, the baby. He would have been called Anne if um he was born a girl. Well, now everyone knows that Ace is Goldie Rogers' son. I think Ace did know this. I think Whitebeard was very honest with Ace about the whole thing. And so he wanted to raise Ace up as like the next Pirate King. Like Ace is like destined to be the next Pirate King. I mean, I do want it to be Luffy, but like I kind of love the idea that Ace, his big brother would be Pirate King. Everyone's like, oh, so he's not actually Luffy's brother, but like, you can't take that bond between them away, you know? Like, they are brothers, you know? It's a bit like, I think I mentioned in Impel Down, Shanks and Buggy, the Viz Media translation said that they were blood brothers, so I assumed that meant that they were related. But a lot of people said, no, they're not actually related. So that was like a totally my bad thing. But like, now we do know that Luffy and Ace aren't 
blood brothers, as in like they're not related, but they are brothers, you know? So now I can kind of get the Shanks and Buggy relationship a bit better now as well. Speaking of Buggy, when the gates start opening by themselves and everyone's like, oh my God, what's happening? And there's Buggy standing like this. As if he's the one doing it. <laughs> he has fast become one of my favourite characters, not gonna lie. Impel Down changed my mind on Buggy completely. So yeah, the bloodline for Goldie Roger still exists, which is monumental. Monumental. They thought that they wiped it all out. So like, now I know why, like the importance anyway, of exactly why Ace is the one who has to die right now. And they don't care, even if it means all out war with Whitebeard. Well, you better bring it. Because we're not letting this happen. Look at all the pirate captains coming as well from the new world. Ooh. We're all distinguished captains of the new world. Yes, they are. 43 ships in total. Like seriously, like I have so much hope and so much faith that we will win. Like it's not just Luffy on his own trying to save his brother. It's like the whole freaking world. Okay. Like, oh, like the stakes. Oh my God. I, I can't. I could just can't. But yeah, I now have more hope that Ace will actually be okay at the end of this. Now that I know that there's just so many people so many people trying to save him and bring him back to me. But yeah, that is volume 56 done. I am now on volume 57. Oh my God, I cannot handle it. I can't handle it. I think we've just started war. <laughs> I think this is like the start of a war. I'm laughing because honestly, if I was in this situation, if I was there with them right there and then, I would probably just jump in the sea and end it right there and then. My nerves are shot. My nerves are absolutely shot. We did get to see a little bit of Ace and Whitebeard backstory, which is exactly what I wanted in the previous chapter. We got to see like how he was out to try and kill him. Like he tried for, well, he first he formed his own pirates and then tried to kill Whitebeard for days and days and days and days. And then Whitebeard was like, you're too strong. Well, actually they fought for five days, I think. Oh no, hang on, it was Jimby. He was fighting Jimby for five days. And then, yeah, ended up meeting up with Whitebeard. And in order to save his own crew, Ace's own crew, he like joins Whitebeard, but then tries to kill him like every single day. And also it turns out that everyone on Whitebeard's crew calls him Pops. So I imagine at one point Blackbeard also called Whitebeard Pops. Which is why it does tear me apart. The fact that Blackbeard would one, kill one of his own crewmates who he'd been a crewmate with for decades, and then go against Ace, who was also part of the same crew and do this. This, which is, again, like, I guess we've started off, is it the, well, no, it's the Summit War, right? Is it the Summit War, the Paramount War? The next chapter is called Paramount War. So I imagine, I imagine this is the, the Paramount War. Then why is it called the Summit War Saga? I don't know. Anyway, it was just really great to say Ace and a little bit backstory with Whitebeard. He also actually met up with Shanks too and thanked Shanks for saving Luffy's life. So, you know, they have that connection too, which is so beautiful again. Like, I love the fact that Ace has like been around, he's been around the block, you know, and he's met loads of different people. But interesting note as well, the fact that Whitebeard didn't send Ace to go after Blackbeard. He was actually like, I have a bad feeling about this, don't go after him. But Ace went anyway. I always thought that it was Whitebeard that had actually told him to go out and, and get him. But no, Whitebeard even knew from the very beginning that Blackbeard was no one to trifle with. Probably biding his time for the right time to strike. But yeah, as they're talking to Ace, everyone else is around as well. And they're saying, oh Ace, yes, we sent you to Blackbeard, but that was our mistake. And Ace is like, no, I went off on my own. But they're like, no, 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 we sent you, but nobody touches one of our crew. They're gonna pay for it. And then two huge like tsunami waves are up on either side. And we have like the admirals and I don't think any of them wanna fight really because like the admirals are like, oh, what a pain, what an absolute pain. And then we have the warlords as well. So Hancock is there and she, oh, she just slays. Honestly, her outfit, she's looking good. But I'm just like, what are they gonna do? Like, are they actually gonna live, like fight and stuff? Like, yeah, there are a lot of Navy people there, but even they say, you know, we might outnumber them, but Whitebeard, he could destroy the world. So like, he's probably like the most dangerous person ever in One Piece. And thank God he's on our side. Thank God he's there to save Ace. Because with Whitebeard there, <laughs> We've got this. We've got this in the bag. But also, actually, before I go on to the next chapter as well, Luffy knew? Luffy knew that Ace was Goldie Roger's son? This entire time? I love the fact that he just, like, reveals it at the start. Oh, that's supposed to be a secret. He cannot keep a secret for anything. <laughs> I, I love the fact that everyone's, like, so shocked by it. I need the light of comedy in the midst of all of this tension. I'm living here just, like, five minutes later, freaking out. 
<laughs> it's harder to talk about chapters where there is just a lot of action going on without it just sounding like a recap. So I will just say that I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This war, this battle right here right now is just so epic. And White Piet is just like, boom, boom, boom. Like, you can't touch this, you know what I mean? Like, oh my god. And even the other pirate captains are like getting a little bit of a taste of it. We're getting introduced to quite a few different ones. Marco, the leader of the First Division. We have Diamond Jozu. Oh, when Hawkeye as well did his like famous slash thing and he blocked it, he stopped the world's most powerful sword slash. Like, Mihawk, you tried. You tried and failed. Even the admirals are like, Wait, are you really gonna like actually like fight and stuff? It's like, you can genuinely tell that they don't wanna do this and they're being forced to it. So without their heart in it, I genuinely feel like the the scales are in our favor, like they're tipped in our favor because we have so much more to lose, you know? I'm saying we because I'm on Whitebeard's side, obviously. So I feel like our hearts are in it. Our passion is in it. You know, we have more to lose than the Navy does. So like we're gonna fight until all of them are dead. I'm just saying, like, if I was there, no, because I literally just said in the previous chapter, I would jump in the ocean and <laughs> I'd be out of there. But no, I, I've changed my mind, obviously, because I need to save Ace. So I'm back. I'm back in the battle. I'm, like, giving it a bit of this, a bit of that. Loved the start of the chapter as well with the tidal wave and how Okiji, like, tried to freeze it. And, like, he kind of does freeze it, but, like, it means that all of the ocean there is frozen so that the other pirates have solid ground to walk on. So it makes it a lot easier to battle on, which is like genius. I don't know if maybe that was like Whitebeard's plan all along. Like, oh, I know somebody here can freeze this. Let's make a big tidal wave and hopefully pray to God that he does actually freeze it. <laughs> Could you imagine if the tsunami had it just like went over it and everyone just got wiped out right there and then? even Whitebeard, like hilarious. But if the next few chapters are just battles, a lot of fighting, I probably won't have too much to say about it. I never usually do. I'm just in awe. I am honestly just in awe. Oh, hang on, before I move on as well, the SBS question corner, I do read these. Someone asks Order, can the former Baroque Works Mr. One cut anything with his wiener? I really, really can't stop thinking about it and it keeps me up at night. And then all Order says is, okay, then don't sleep, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was a question I never really thought to ask, but, now that's in my head. Oh wow, I want one of those mythical creature zone type devil fruit things. Marco the Phoenix? Freaking hell. That's incredible. Could you imagine Marco the Phoenix and Firefist Ace fighting together? Like, they'd be unstoppable. They would literally be unstoppable. I'm wondering where the hell Luffy is right now. <laughs> Luffy and Buggy and everyone. Like, I think the last we saw them was a couple of chapters ago and there was just like a lot of fog. And I'm like, okay, but you know, there's a war going on here. Time is of the essence. But time has never really been Luffy's strong suit. But he always does make it in time, you know, before... Well, apart from an impel down. But like, obviously there are some exceptions to what I've just said. Just ignore me. I'm talking myself into a corner here. But you no, know, the war is rich. Oh, look at that huge iceberg as well. That was a fucking cool moment. All oh, the giants, just, it's chaos. It's absolute chaos. Like I've never seen this many strong pirates together before in my life. Like the Navy have a job on their hands right now. The Admirals, the Warlords, but even then I still think like the Warlords and Admirals don't want anything to do with it. So I obviously they don't want to die, but I don't think they're going to put their heart and soul into this like our side are doing. So it's just like a really hard one to call though. But honestly, it's just like so flashy. It's so explosive. It's amazing. And I know a lot of people say, oh, watch the anime as well. And I will. I promise I will do that. I'm up to Alabaster in the anime at the minute. But I cannot wait to see this unfold like in person. Like there's just like so much going on. And I usually do struggle with a lot of stuff going on at once. But I'm just reading it, loving it, taking my time, so happy and filled with hope. Like I'm only like, what, five chapters into this arc? It's making me the happiest boy in the world. And you guys were right as well, because I was saying, oh, the Straw Hat's like the most powerful ever. But like now we're really getting a taste of the outside world, of like all the other pirates too. And like how the, the grand One Piece world in general is just so much bigger than just the Straw Hats. And like there are all of these incredible, powerful people. And like we haven't even like scratched the surface of that yet. Oh my God, like this arc, this saga has been blowing my mind since chapter one. I mean, I've had to get a refill of my coffee while reading this. I am just honestly having a blast. I'm, I'm literally having a blast. That was no pun intended. Poor Oz Jr. though. And wasn't Oz like a, a zombie from the Thriller Bark saga? Is, well, it must be Oz Jr. is like a descendant. 
I like that connection there. That's a really cool, cool connection. Especially since Moria is there too. And he's like, his corpse is mine. And oh, bless, he had his leg chopped off by freaking Dolphamingo, asshole. And I do apologize if I swear a lot in this video. I'll try and cut it down. But Dolphamingo is obviously a prick. But then we have Hancock. Boy Hancock, she is fighting on our side. And even one of the Navy officers is like, whose side are you on? And she says, I agree to fight Whitebeard, but I didn't say I was on your side. Oh, I love it. And I love seeing her like get into it as well, because like, I, I was a bit conflicted about her in Amazon Lily. I wasn't sure if like she was genuinely scared of fighting or if it was just a ruse, you know, like she just didn't want to like be part of it at all. That she just wasn't scared. She just didn't want to be part of it. So like if she was genuinely scared of a war and like actually fighting, then I love the fact that she is doing this anyway, you know, pushing past her fears to fight and partake in this war. And you know what? Even if she didn't actually mean that she was actually genuinely scared, it doesn't matter because she is still fighting. She's on our side. She is helping and I love her. Oh, but then the story between Oz Jr. and Ace was, again, so touching. It was like that tiny little sort of Black Pages flashback thing between Ace and Oz Jr., where Ace constructs a sort of hat for him that he learned from the Wano people. And Oz is like just so thankful to Ace for it. And he's like, I wanna save Ace. Ace is my friend. Oh God. So like, Oz better be okay now. Oh, I'm starting to get teary eyed. Like. I want Ace to survive. I don't really want that many people to die for Ace though, because can you imagine the guilt that will be on Ace once he gets out of this? Like if Oz dies or like any of the other people, like what if Whitebeard dies, you know? Like what if these people die in order for Ace to survive? The survivor's guilt of that will honestly crush Ace, I think. So Oz Jr. better be okay. But love that we had, even during this big battle, we had this amazingly huge giant on our side making havoc and then having that touching moment in between all of the fighting so that when Oz Jr. does get so close to Ace and he got so close too before he fell it just meant a little bit more you know so it isn't just action it's still grounded in so much emotion <laughs> Oh my god, the way that this chapter ended. Hilarious. Oh, uh, you know what? If Luffy was going to make an entrance, it would be something like this, wouldn't it? Falling from the sky. Oh, and I love the panel of them all falling. And he's like, hey, wait, I'll be fine. I made a rubber. And everyone's like, well, we aren't. <laughs> I don't want to die like this. Somebody save us. Of course, you know, there's like this really serious, this really serious war going on. Like it's, let me, it's serious. And then Luffy just fall from the sky like this. Like Ivar, Buggy, Jimbe, like everyone's there and they're screaming. I'm screaming. And especially since this has just come right after we find out that the Navy planned to execute Ace ahead of schedule. And they only realize that because Kobe and Helmeppo overhear this. Uh, what was his name again? I haven't really remembered his name very well, but he seems awful. Admiral Aquino, Admiral Okano, Ad Admiral Okano. If you care about your family, then die an honorable death. So this guy here, somebody ran away screaming because like there were so many people who are like stronger than him getting flattened like ants. He's like, don't want to die. He's got a family, got to take care of them. And so he gets killed right in front of Kobe and Helmeppo, who are also hiding right now. But because they're hiding, they're overhearing what he's saying. And apparently he said they're moving up Ace's execution, which I'm not surprised because with everything that's going on, you know, like if they still wait, like why are they waiting really? Like they could just get it over and done with and then that be the end of it. I don't really understand why they're waiting until a specific time to do it. Is it like for the viewership? Is it because they know that three o'clock they'll get the best viewers? Because that's some network bullshit. I mean, I'm glad they're waiting because I don't want it to happen. But yeah, like, it, I, I'm not surprised they're bringing it forward at all, honestly. Hey, you seen what's going on? Cobb sits down next to Ace and he's like, he's family, what am I supposed to do? You know, when the other guy there is like, don't show pirates mercy. So like, I can really feel Gop's struggle, actually. And especially since we did get more of a backstory on him in post Ennius Lobby and like how he tried to raise Ace and Luffy as like Navy men. And honestly, right now, with everything that's going on, I'm like, okay, maybe Gramps had a point. At the same time, I'm kind of glad that they're living and doing their own thing. And again, it's that struggle, isn't it, between generations. Like we have Gramps who is 
obviously a lot older than them. And then Ace and Luffy, who are much younger than him. And the kind of way that they kind of want to live is just two completely different things. It's like, what do you do? Like, do you sacrifice your dreams to live in honourable life or do you go out there live your life even if it means it's going to get cut short because actually one thing that I forgot to mention in an Impel Down video is that Luffy has exchanged 10 years of his life in order to like kind of heal himself from the poison that happened to him so Luffy's lost 10 years Ace is still on the execution block maybe when everyone's fighting and stuff Luffy can like sneak up and you know convince Gop to let Ace go or something like obviously like Luffy will be great in the fight and he will definitely fight people but if he can get to Ace while all of this commotion's going on everyone's distracted and get Ace out like sneak him out oh my god he would just have to <gasps> maybe that like this is my prediction he's gonna get to the stand there's going to be Ace there and Gop there. And Gop is going to struggle with letting Ace go. It'll be his duty to the Navy and the government versus the duty of a grandfather and the word that he gave Goldie Roger of looking after his son, you know? Like, ooh, ooh, that's my prediction. And that would be so good. Because then Gop can be like, okay, you know what? I don't care what happens right now. Ace, we cannot let you die live and then let them go with Luffy and they escape. <laughs> That'd be so good. Okay, right, that's my prediction. Let's continue on. I'm so excited for Luffy and Whitebeard to come face to face as well. Oh, <laughs> I just love it. I really do. I'm just chuckling away here. I mean, for one thing, actually, the cover story, the next one is Brooke and he's like with our cult people thing and it's the guy members that are showing Brooke their panties. So that's hilarious. The demon begins composing. He's writing a song. It was explained like why Luffy was kind of stuck. And like, I should have known, you know, I never connect the dots. It's very rare for me to actually connect dots these days. But obviously when the big tidal wave came and then Okiji like froze the, the tidal wave, like Luffy in the ship was like stuck on that wave, on that tidal wave. So that's where they've been. They did hear over the transponder snail the fact that they are moving up Ace's execution. So Luffy's like, oh God, we've got to get out of this mess. So like they, they break the ice and they come falling down into the midst of all of this, hilariously. In Crocodile, instantly his own agenda is like killing Whitebeard. So like he goes to kill him, but Luffy protects him and says, oh, Ace is fond of this old man, don't kill him. And also the fact that Whitebeard is trying to save Ace, you know, the more allies they have on their side, the better. So I don't really know like what Crocodile's role is going to be now, that he's kind of like, sort of betrayed but sort of not because Crocodile did say hey I fulfilled my end of the bargain you know like he's not like he has his own agenda but like I don't I don't think he's like evil evil anymore you know what I mean I, I don't know he, he's very tricky one like I'm keeping an eye on him oh but then when Luffy and Ace saw one another oh it was like Oh, it was magic. I mean, Ace is terrified. Luffy, Ace, I finally found you. Oh, and Luffy's so happy. Like, so, like Luffy is me right now. Luffy is me. This is, like, one of my favourite panels, like, ever right now. And that's the one where we see Luffy and his, like, new crew. <laughs> like, not the new Straw Hats, because the Straw Hats are too iconic. But, like, the new crew to try and save Ace. It's, it's an iconic image. It really is. Even everyone is talking about it. They're like, wait, that's not his actual crew, right? Like, that's not his usual crew. And I just love that. I love the fact that it's just, like, all over the place. It's messy. But, like, we have to improvise. We have to improvise as we are in the midst of this battle that we are just, like, so totally lost in. People who are watching Ace's execution on the TVs and stuff are getting quite a performance. Like, they're getting quite a show. The reins for that must be through the roof. We have, okay, the meeting between Luffy and Wipeyard as well, like, the first time they meet. Like, they kind of like, don't get along. Like, Luffy does protect him, but Luffy's like, hey, I'm gonna be the Pirate King. I'm gonna be the one to save Ace. And Wipeyard is like, no, you little snot. I'm here to save Ace kind of thing. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. You know what? I wouldn't be against it if Wipeyard also became a sort of fatherly figure. Fatherly? Fatherly? Fa fatherly? Fatherly figure? It doesn't sound right. You know what I mean? Like a fatherly figure to Luffy. Yeah, I love this. Like, it's such an unlikely alliance. I love this. You better stay out of the way, you little snot. I genuinely love that so much. Especially since, isn't it when Wipeyard is sleeping, there's like a big snot bubble that comes out of his nose or something? He's gonna be like so proud. But like, even when Gop saw Luffy as well, and then he gets shouted at like, that's your family, and Gop's like, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> like, I do feel a bit bad for Gop. He is uh, in a bit of a difficult situation. But also, like, this is why I love Ace as well. It's just, like, how proud he is of Luffy. So, like, when we see in this little kind of flashback moment here, where he is showing 
well, Pops. Hey, Pops, look, this is my little brother. And it's Luffy's wanted poster. And he, he's just so proud. Like, he is... Oh, like, he doesn't want Luffy to be there because he wants him to be safe and sound. But, I mean, I'm glad that he's there because I want to see more brotherly love, you know what I mean? I want to see them bond and I want to see Ace and Luffy reunited properly and, and safe. But it's just so nice to get those little glimpses where Ace has kind of always been looking out for Luffy. And we did see him briefly, like, in Alabaster and stuff like that. To see, like, his interactions, like, when he thanked Shanks for saving Luffy and when he tells Pops about Luffy. It's just, like, he's just the best big brother and like they're not even blood related but it doesn't even matter it doesn't matter this is just like the importance of like just being a brother like just loving someone you know like that love that is there it doesn't have to be there because of blood you know oh god i just i adore je adore oh luffy and ace are just oh, the best brothers ever i love them i genuinely don't know how we've gotten to this point where i genuinely feel like even though we're barely halfway through i don't even think we're halfway through yet well, I think I've only read, like, nine chapters so far, maybe? It's already a 10 out of 10 arc, you know? It's... <sighs> I could see through Ace shouting at Luffy, like, these insults. I could see right through it. I could see right through it. Like, there was no way, no way he actually meant any of it, you know? I mean, he does want Luffy to be fine. I have my own adventures, I have my own friends, there's no place for you in my life. You think I'd let myself be rescued by a weakling like you? That would be an unbearable insult. Beat it, Luffy. Why did you come here? Like, even though, like, the next panel's like, please, Luffy, I don't want you to get killed for me. But, like, even, like, shouting, even at the very start of the whole, like, section, don't come up here, Luffy, I just knew. I just knew he's just saying all this crap. I feel like deep down even he knew that Luffy would just stop at nothing, you know? Nothing's gonna stop Luffy now. I, I guess he feels like he has to, as a, as a big brother, to do anything he possibly can. Especially since we had, again, like, these tiny little flashbacks. Like, usually we have you know, chapters upon chapters upon chapters, and like these black pages all filled with flashback. But we just have like little sprinkling in of these moments between like Luffy and Luffy, Luffy and Luffy? Between Luffy and Ace of like their past together and then being like brothers. Did you know that if we drink from each other's cups, we'll be brothers for life? From now on, we're brothers. So yeah, even Luffy's like, I don't care about your stinking pirate rules. I'm coming to get you. You know, it's, ugh. I love it so much. The, the bond, the bond is just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Also, I love the fact that Moria is getting a little bit more to do in this chapter two with his like zombie generals and the zombies that are coming up from the ground. And even he says, you know, this is Battlefield, there are corpses. Hey, 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 they're gonna join my team. And I love that, I do, I love that a lot. But then Jinbei is like, <laughs> isn't that we can assault? <laughs> Boom, you know, it's, it's a great little fight and battle there. But the fact that it's not just fighting is in just like swords and stuff and just physical fighting there's just like a lot going on a lot of people using their powers against one another that i'm just like this isn't like a normal fight and this is one of the reasons why i wasn't the biggest fan of like fights in other forms of media whether it's tv in books and stuff it just the battles feel very one note but in one piece it's like, just all over the place. It's like, you get a bit of everything with all of the battles. It's just lots of different things that are happening, different styles of fighting. And even a moment between Ivor and Kuma as well. And it seems like they might have some kind of history or some kind of past as well that I'm interested in uncovering. It looks like Ivor is connected to a lot of characters because obviously Ivor and Crocodile have a history as well, judging from the Impel Down arc. So now we've ended the chapter as well with Wipeye telling Marco to not let Luffy die. Say whatever you want, I want to save you even if it kills me. Oh. Just, ugh. I think that this is why Luffy is probably my favorite character ever. And why Ace is like my favorite non-straw hat. But why Beard does seem to have like formed some kind of connection with Luffy now. He probably says Luffy is Ace, you know? Like Luffy and Ace are probably so alike to White Beard that saying Luffy, it's like, wow, okay, Ace Jr. And he really does probably see the potential in him too. It's just, Gorgeous. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous arc, you gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Oh my god, I feel like I learned so much every single chapter. I can't deal. I can't deal. Let's start at the very end of this chapter. What is, is the, uh, what, original Kuma dead or something? Doflamingo says to Ivor, you think he's Bartholomew Kuma, right? But I have news for you, the real tyrant Kuma is already dead. What does he mean by that then? What is this? I mean, I always thought, because he, he was a bit weird, like, I don't know, there were like multiple versions of him and like he just, he doesn't really talk, does he? I, I, I'm so confused by Kuma and his whole deal. What's going on? But Doflamingo tells Ivor 
that he's dead. I, I don't know what to believe at this point, but that's just, what? There's just something else so sinister at play here that I'm just like not privy to knowing about just yet. I did love that our Hancock defended Luffy as well against Smoker. Smoker and Luffy were like fighting for a little bit and then Hancock was like, how dare you hurt my Luffy? And so, like, she's kind of put herself in more danger now. How dare you strike and try to capture the man I love? And Hancock is looking absolutely terrifying in the bottom there as well. Like, I would not want to cross her. And especially since she is defending Luffy. Like, the how much she loves Luffy, honestly, is incredible. I honestly love it. It's how I feel about Ace, honestly. And then he sees Hancock and she goes, yes, he spoke my name again. Like, she can change on a dime. She can change her face on a dime. Like, she was terrifying like literally two panels ago and now Luffy said her name and she's just like yes it's just oh I love it I love how just even amongst all this chaos I'm still getting all of those brilliant character moments and the personalities of each of the characters as well like even Ivor as well like Ivor was like a great sort of comedic character I think in Impel Down like really important don't get me wrong but like I thought definitely gave me some comic relief during the intensity of that arc and even like at the start of this as well when we first saw Ivar on the ship and screaming and stuff I thought it would continue that way but actually it seems like Ivar's just getting like more and more important like the connection with Kuma I'm still I'm I'm scratching my head about Ace at the start of the chapter accepts death and I don't so we're not even going to talk about that we're not going to talk about that he's seen all of this fighting going on all of this commotion for him he's seen people get hurt for him and he's like I accept whatever kills me I'll accept death and then Garp is looking at him and I don't know if he is proud of it or if he's sad about it or happy or what I can't read his emotions right now he's a mystery to me a really great moment as well between Boogie and Whitebeard when Whitebeard overhears Boogie saying that he's gonna like take Whitebeard's head like everyone wants to take Whitebeard's head it's like nothing different but Whitebeard being so bloody clever is like hey Boogie and like giving him like attention so Boogie's new crew are like oh my god he's like one of the big shots Boogie is talking to him as if he's an equal and stuff like that and like the way that they idolize Boogie is hilarious yeah Whitebeard is like hey why don't we like, join forces like what are you gonna do after you take my head you're gonna have to fight the navy then so why don't we fight the navy together and then afterwards you can have my head kind of thing it's just it's so funny like Whitebeard is amazing he is amazing he's smart he is talented he's powerful I do not want him for an enemy and anybody who does have him as an enemy should be running scared which is why again I'm still like filled with hope even though Ace is like I accept death I'm like no none of the rest of us do shut your mouth and wait to be rescued okay okay yes it does take me a little while to jog my memory every now and then but I remember learning a little bit about the pacifistas was it in Sabody Archipelago when we learned about that and stuff I, I still haven't wrapped my head around it completely I need to do a bit more digging on that although at the same time I kind of don't want to because I don't want to risk saying spoilers and stuff for the future but just like refresh my memory of like what I've learned so far and just the fact that Kuma is like now not really Kuma anymore he apparently gave himself up to the world government as a sort of test subject in order to like make him a weaponized human sort of thing but now he's kind of lost all sense of his past self and he's literally just a weapon now kind of thing which honestly I don't think anybody would really give themselves up to the government especially someone who was apparently as powerful as Kume so I'm wondering like what actually happened there and even Iva said like he hates the government like he wouldn't do that so I trust Iva on this I don't think Kuma would but it's kind of terrifying as well to think of things that they can do like they can do stuff like that but also the fact that Vegapunk was mentioned and it was a place where in the cover stories Frankie had ended up so Frankie is in I think Vegapunk at the minute trying to escape and get back to his straw hats I don't know what's going on there <laughs> in the previous cover stories actually that I've just read as well Zoro who is still with oh what's her name again I keep forgetting her name as well does it begin with a p the girl from Thriller Bark and he's got his swords back and stuff and it seems like they're coming across like this giant tombstone and stuff and maybe trying to escape where they are too. I don't know. Yeah, just like a lot more fighting. I absolutely love the fact that Hancock gave Luffy the keys to Ace's cuffs so that she... Well, she's done this like monumental thing, honestly. This is how Ace is going to escape and she gave Luffy those keys. <gasps> oh, I honestly, I love her. I love the fact that he hugged her and she was like, is this what they call marriage? I love how in her mind, like she's literally like married to Luffy now, essentially. Why are we the same deluded person when it comes to the brothers? Honestly, 
She can have Luffy, I can have Ace, you know, it's a beautiful pairing. Me and Hancock can be step-siblings. I love this, what a beautiful little family. Can you imagine us every Christmas, sitting around the family, having Christmas dinner, Hancock and Luffy, me and Ace, oh, stop, literally stop, because honestly, that again is just feeding into my delusion. Interesting stuff, like I'm trying to take in so much at once, and it's always impossible with One Piece because there is just so much to learn and discover still that, oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm soaking it in. I'm just soaking it in. But also the fact actually at the end of the chapter, Luffy is confronted by Mihawk, who defeated Zoro way back when. So I'm a little bit scared about this fight because the next chapter is called Luffy versus Mihawk. I thought, well, Zoro failed against Mihawk, but like they were so early on in their adventure. I think if they came face to face again, Zoro would put up more of a fight. But Luffy isn't trying to be a swordsman. Like Zoro is wanting to be the greatest swordsman ever. And that is Mihawk's title essentially, isn't it? I isn't it? So Luffy isn't wanting to be the greatest swordsman. He isn't a swordsman. So maybe Luffy will have more of a chance because he'll be fighting differently. And he isn't trying to better him as a swordsman kind of thing maybe. I don't know. I may as well just read on to find out. Okay, I went from having like all the hope in the world to now literally shitting myself. I, oh, the end, seeing all those kumas in a row. I mean, it sounds ridiculous in my head, but it's genuinely terrifying to actually see that. Oh, I'm, ugh, I'm shaking. Especially since now like everything's prepared for Ace's execution. Like they'll literally like, like cut the transponder snails. You know, we don't want to lose the world's trust in us. But all they need to know is that in a few hours we'll come out of this victorious. I'm like, what an assumption. What an assumption. How dare you? Who do you think you are? But also the fact that no, it's not happening. Yeah, Luffy and Mihawk have a little bit of a tiffle. A little tiffle? Is that the right word? They have a little bit of a battle. I mean, even Mihawk says this. Being the kind of person to have so many people come to help is like the greatest power of all on the Grand Line. Like seriously, yes. Honestly, I'm getting chills. I'm getting chills just knowing like how many people are here to help Luffy and help Ace. Whitebeard and everyone, like, ooh. I mean, I know like not all of them are there like really for Luffy. Like this is just like a monumental moment. Like this is bigger. This is bigger than Luffy and Ace. What's happening right now, we have all of these different pirates and people from all over the world, I guess, and people who have escaped and piled down. And it's like, you know, even they know that something is changing here. We have, you know, new alliances being forged and people fighting against one another. And it's like, where do I look? Like, even I think Doflamingo said that he was going to join Crocodile or something. And yeah, like, we have new pirate crews forming and like, everyone knows that this is like the moment everything's changed forever. It's ter honestly, it's so fucking terrifying. Like, I thought Luffy would try and escape. Mihawk is like, there's no way I have time for this. And yeah, <laughs> I did love though when Buggy, Buggy was there and Luffy used him as like a sort of human shield. Well, Buggy can be like sort of split up and stuff. Like his body can come apart. But even Buggy's like, what are you trying to do to me? Like, what the hell do you think you're doing? And even Buggy, when he uses his muggy ball, his eyes when Mihawk deflects it is hilarious. Like the way his eyes are there, he realizes it's getting back to him. <laughs> It's so funny. And Luffy running away like, thanks, Buggy, I'll never forget you. Like, as if Buggy did it by choice, you know? Oh, I freaking love it. They're starting the execution, but there's still lots of time left. So, I... <sighs> so Luffy needs to just forget everyone. Like, everyone, if you can just, like, fuck off for two seconds, please. Oh, God, just let Luffy get to his brother. Unchain him. Un uncuff him. And get him out there, for God's sake. Is that too much to ask? Excuse me? Have we just had a betrayal? What's his name? Squad? Squared? C has just stabbed Whitebeard like right through the stomach. And he just two seconds ago called him Pops. We've got another Blackbeard on our hands. We've got another scumbag betrayer and he says i was trying to get a hold of you sorry about that pops and white beard is saying i'm going out to fight soon Our only hope is to keep moving forward because kuma all of the kumas blasting the whole place apart and they're even like killing their own people as well like even the navy are just just do it it's a nightmare it's chaos it's absolute chaos the fact that they're killing their own people as well they don't care they just kind of want to win this sort of battle this this war oh i'm oh, like what so he's betrayed, what? Oh my God, okay, I need to digest that. I need to digest that. I believe Whitebeard will be fine from this, like even though he's just literally being impaled by a big ass sword through the stomach, like that's not how Whitebeard goes out. No, 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 no. 
even though everyone else is watching it and their panels have gone black, like, what has just happened here? I have no idea what's going on. One thing I loved, though, was that buggy... It was used in the transponder snail, the last transponder snail that was transmitting to sort of be broadcast everywhere because again, like the Navy can't exact their execution, their early execution until all the transponder snail cameras are being cut out and nobody can see it because yeah, then the world will lose faith in them kind of thing. I think. So Buggy and the escaped prisoners of Impel Down are at this like last transponder snail and they're like using it to broadcast and Buggy's like, yep, I'm Buggy the Clown. And he just looks like so happy so amazing oh i love him he's so cute just yeah the pacifist is just blowing everything up trying to get into the plaza oh my god i've never been more stressed in my life and i know i was saying during impel down that i was stressed and yes i was i was stressed throughout impel down i am even more stressed now like i my stress knows no bounds right now i'm stressed i'm freaking out i, I still have hope like i have hope that we're still gonna be fine and we're still gonna like beat their asses but what has just happened with Whitebeard and Squidward or whatever the fuck he's called? Anyway, I finished volume 57 and now I'm on volume 58. <sighs> it's getting close to the end of this arc and I'm like, oh, I just, I need this to be over because it's stressing me out. I'm loving it. I am loving it, but it's stressing me out. I feel like every arc has stressed me out at some point. <laughs> but this is, this is next level stress. Oh, it's over for all you bitches. Okay, like for a second, for a second. This is the thing with this arc, is that my nerves have gone like this. Like it's been a total roller coaster, up and down. At the end of the previous chapter, when Squad Squared stabbed Whitebeard, I was literally thinking, crap, the tides have changed again. But now the tides have changed back in our favor. Oh my God. Honestly, this is the thing with this arc. Every single chapter has been a sort of, you know, like a tennis match between the, the sides. And at one moment, the ball is in our court and then in the next, it's in like the enemy's court. You know, it's, oh. Whew. Calming down for just a second. Squad reveals his betrayal and like why he stabbed Whitebeard. And he said, well, he believed that Whitebeard had ratted and sold all of the other sort of pirate captains out and like sort of handed them over to the Navy in order to save the Whitebeard pirates and Ace, like, and that's it, you know? So it's almost like Whitebeard had led everyone into a trap just to save Ace, like Ace only. And for a second, I kind of believed it. I thought, crap, like, is that what he would do? Is that what he would do to save Ace? But then Whitebeard is like, I love all of my sons. I would save all of you. I wouldn't betray all you pirates like this. But like, he doesn't exactly say that. He's just kind of like, believe me, like this is this is who I am. Like you know me, you know me as Whitebeard. And then he gives all of the pirates an option to escape using his hockey. And it's like, look, if anybody wants to go, go. But if you're staying, it's probably gonna cost your life. So whose side are you on? You know, and it's, oh, like what a, a, a chapter, what a moment. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> but like even my doubt, my doubt had sprung in there as Squad was talking about this and, and saying the plan. But oh, what's his name? Sengoku, who seems to be like in charge of everyone, I guess. Oh, hi Ash. And he's the one on the platform with Ace giving all of the commands and stuff. Like, yeah, that seed of doubt, like, oh gosh, it almost cost us the war there. But you know, even Marco was like, well, Whitebeard wouldn't let himself get stabbed. Like there's obviously like a reason for this. And yeah, Whitebeard is just like incredible and amazing. Why do I even think that he would be hurt by it? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there was blood rushing down. Yeah, he was impaled by a sword, but like, it's not gonna stop Whitebeard. It's not gonna prevent him from continuing on in this war. And now he's like actually joined the fight. Whitebeard, he means business now. He means business. Ah, see, this is where, okay, the, the tides are back in our favor for like a chapter. It'll probably go back in the other side in the next chapter. Oh God, my heart. My heart, my, honestly, my heart. Had to take a quick little break there while I ate some food. So I feel good now and ready for the rest of this arc. I was just gonna read like half of it today and then half of it tomorrow. But it's just like too good. It's too good to stop now. But yeah, I'm grateful for the break, but we're back at it, lads. I mean, there are a lot of plans going on at once on there. So it's kind of like hard again to make sure that I have like everything down to it. Hey, I'm just reading this just... Like, yeah, it's just, yeah, there's lots going on. But yeah, they're trying to bring up the wall around like the bay thing, uh, around the plaza. And they're trying to like trap the pirates within it. But Oz's body, oh, I don't think he's dead though. But they did say that his blood had kind of stopped the power or something like that. And like his body weight is like stopping like the wall from completely going up or something. There's just lots going on. But I, I think he's just out for the count. He's not like actually dead. 
right? Like, uh, I feel like the way I look at things is on the sunny side. So if somebody's down, I just assume that they've been like knocked out or something. So that's what I'm assuming with oars. But we do have the admirals all working together as well. So that they are trying to melt the ice now too with like this meteor shower. So now they're like a little bit screwed again. So again, like we had the tide turn in the previous chapter and now it's kind of, oh, I just don't know what to think anymore. That squad person who was like crying on the floor, being so emotional about the fact that what they did to Whitebeard almost cost them. How could I have doubted Pops when I love him so much? It does show you like even like, yeah, Luffy also has a lot of people who love him and would do anything for him and he has like a lot of friends. It does sound like Whitebeard also has that within his crew with like the other people who are like actually there fighting as well. I'm getting more and more of an understanding of like the magnitude of Whitebeard's sort of influence. I look up to him. I really do. Like I feel so much better knowing that he's there, but there is still a lot of stake here. So we haven't quite won just yet. Oh man, we're so bloody close. Uh, oh, Luffy's been catapulted up. He's like right there, but the three admirals are like right in his way. And those admirals scare me. They scare me. And I know Okiji kind of was on our side a little bit, you know, at the end of Ennius Lobby. Was it Ennius Lobby, post Ennius Lobby? When he wanted to say if Robin was okay. And it's just, oh, please let us through, please. I would love you guys forever. I, can't, I don't think Luffy can take all three of them on at once by himself. Although he's not by himself, there are a lot of people there. And also Oz, Oz got up. So that's like amazing. I'm so glad he got up. Like in, what he needs to do now is like crush the people who are around Ace, save Ace and just get out of there. Come on, you're literally right there. You are right there, just do it. Just please do it, please, please, please. I, I'm literally shaking, I'm trying to get through the, the pages but I'm literally shaking. Literally, let me have Ace. Let me have Ace as he's like, Taking on all of the three admirals at once. Oh, come on. Get everybody ready. We're going to storm the plaza. Come on, please. Just like get in there. Just save Ace. For God's sake. Like, I feel like we've been going on for forever. We've been going on forever. I need this to stop. <laughs> I need this to stop right now. I know that's not like Order's intention. He's going to drag this on as long as possible. Just to make victory taste that even sweeter, you know? But like, come on. What is taking so long? Uh, I, I know what's taking so long is the fact that there are so many powerful people here in one place. It's not just the fact that our good guys are the most powerful. It's like such an even playing field right now. There are so many different power plays and power struggles going on at once. The Moby Dick's been sunk. I guess to wipe yeah, that probably feels like when the Go and Merry died. Oh, bless him. Oh, all of this for Ace as well. Come on, please. Oh, come on. I feel like my chapter review is gonna get shorter and shorter until I get to bloody Ace. Oh my God! Oh my God! I got a crocodile saved Ace. Uh, oh, pardon me. Oh my God! They were about to do it. They were about to execute. Oh my God! But then crocodile. I was wondering like who did that. I thought maybe it was like Luffy's hockey or something, and like he'd managed to somehow blast them back or something like that. But like. No, it was Crocodile. And then Doflamingo was like, what do you think you're doing? And now it seems like Crocodile and Doflamingo are fighting. I'm just like, oh my God. The alliance has changed so quickly. I can't keep up. My head is like, oh, the whiplash. Loved the fact that we saved Ace there. Oh my God, my heart was in my mouth. Oh my God. Whitebeard and the pirates have reached the plaza. Oz as well is like helping. Like he's not dead. Even Whitebeard had a spare ship that was courted. Oh my gosh, really must have done that, right? Really must have been the one to have courted the ship. Like what we wanted to do with Sabadi Archipelago until we got interrupted by Kume. Uh, uh. Honestly, right now we would have had Luffy with all of his straw hats fighting against everyone here in Marineford if it wasn't for Kume. Oh, like, I, I'm just all over the place, okay? Yeah, Luffy fighting the Admirals. It's not going great for him, but that's fine. That's fine because the execution was stopped. They didn't execute Ace there. Thank God. Crocodile as well. Crocodile. Honestly, I feel like I owe Crocodile a huge debt now. I mean, I did doubt him earlier on when he tried to kill Whitebeard, but who isn't trying to kill Whitebeard at this point? So I can't really hold that against him, really. Whitebeard is at the plaza. Stand back, my sons. And yeah, right. Okay, so like he's saying, God, it looks like we're not going to get off the easy this time. Yeah, because they're going to save Ace and destroy the Navy. Like it's time. It's time the Navy and the government got taken down because they're awful. They're corrupt. We need a new world government. It needs to, you know what I mean? So much, so much at play here. <sighs> yeah, again, very short chapter review. I'm just, I'm on a ride. <laughs> right, hold on. Is Garp actively trying to stop Ace from being saved? He's literally just 
knocked Marco away. If you want to get past me, it'll be over my dead body, you brats. Gop! Gop! That is your grandson. Just stop. Stop this charade. It's not worth the title, okay? His life is not worth your fucking title. So I guess this means that Gop is now joining the battle, right? But if that means that we can get him away from me so that Luffy can get to him, then that's great. But like, Gop, I'm very disappointed in you. I'm so disappointed in you. Literally, nothing is worth more than family. Oh, I don't know what else to say about this other than, yeah, Luffy kind of passed out. Well, not exactly passed out, but he is exhausted. He has given everything he has. And still, he's just like, he keeps getting like knocked back and knocked down. And gosh, like, ugh. there was a time when I genuinely thought, like, and I still believe in Luffy, don't get me wrong. But I'm just like, yeah, like, I can say now that. The world is just so much bigger around Luffy. There are people who are way stronger than Luffy. But bless Ethan Whitebeard is like trying to get him to get away from the fight. But Luffy says, Ace is the only brother I have in the entire world. You're nothing but a massive spirit. All you can do is talk big, pathetic young fool. I love idiots like you. Even though like Luffy's not the most powerful, right? He's not. I can accept that now. I didn't want to accept it before, but I can accept it now. I don't think anybody has a more powerful spirit than Luffy, right? Like, he might not have the physical strength compared to others, but, like, in spirit, absolutely. When he sets his mind on something, he goes for it with everything he has. And that's exactly what we're seeing throughout this entire arc. I need him to get to it. <laughs> He's, like, so close. He's, like, so close. It's like, <sighs> we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. It's just... It has to look hard, right? It just, it has to look hard. So that's why Order's just taken so long to get to his rescue. And it looks, honestly, it looks impossible. It does. And I am loving this arc for it. But at the same time, I'm like, come on. Come on, please. Please, put me out of my misery. Gop, I swear to God, Gop. I will never forgive you for this. Never. Unless you change your mind again and you're on the side of family, I will never forgive you. Holy shit, Luffy's literally gonna die. If he keeps pushing himself beyond his limit. Like, yes, of course I want Ace to survive and like to live. But the fact that Ivers had to give Luffy more of like the, a hormone boost kind of thing. Like, it's like he hasn't even recovered from Impel Down yet. I mean, Ivers done it and I'm thankful for that. But at the same time, I'm like, Luffy, you've already like knocked off 10 years of your life. You already had to go through this before. And now you have to have like another boost because he's so exhausted. Honestly, after this, after this arc, I expect Luffy to be trading non-stop. Non-stop alongside Zoro, you know? It's happened at a crucial time because Whitebeard and some of his other pirates have kind of been like, injured like really badly. So I'm like, I'm getting scared guys. I'm literally getting scared. Oh, especially since Ace as well, as he was talking, he was saying like, everyone shout Ace, don't give up. We're gonna save you. We're gonna come save you Ace. And Ace is like, no, I, I'm so torn up inside even now. Pops, Luffy, all my shipmates are all bleeding in time for me. It touches me so deeply. The tears won't stop flowing. So Ace is literally like kneeling there, crying his eyes out. I just wanna like go over there and just give him the biggest hug. Even after everything I've seen and done, I still don't want to die. Oh. Don't worry, Ace, it's fine, like, you're not gonna die, you're not gonna die, it's fine. It's fine, we're here, we are here for you, we're gonna get you out of there. We just, we need the theatrics, okay? <laughs> we just need to continue the drama, you know, just to fill up chapters, you know? And then at the last minute, it's just gonna taste that, that better when you're out of those cuffs and Luffy can free you. And now Luffy is like back in the fight, look, Luffy is the greatest. Like I mentioned before, not the most powerful, of course, but, 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 but he's the greatest. He is the greatest. So now he's back in the running. Thank you so much, Ivan. I'm so glad we met you. Maybe this next chapter is finally when Ace will be freed. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know how much more I can take. Oh, my God, my fucking heart. I was just about to uh, cut in, in the middle of reading this chapter and give like a bit of a live reading, like I did a couple of times in any Lobby. But, like... I, I couldn't pull my eyes away. I couldn't. Oh my God, it was so close. It was so close. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, the hockey of the... What was it? The Supreme King, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just... Hockey of the Supreme King, yeah, I was right. Oh my God. Oh, I can't... It was so close to executing his again. Again. Can, can they just stop? I'm... I'm I'm laughing. I'm laughing. I'm not crying. I'm laughing. Honestly, I've just read the chapter and my mind's blank. 
My mind is literally blank. Oh, Luffy punched Corby. <laughs> like, yeah, that's that that happened. I have to fight like I want to kill him. Gum gum bullet. Just down. Just down like that. And nobody stands in the way. No one. Absolutely not. Hancock as well. Standing in the way between Luffy and Kuma. And Kuma, obviously detecting an ally, doesn't attack. Oh, this is why I want to see it. Hancock. Oh, God, I love you so much. Whitebeard, he got back up. He got back up. What a powerful panel right there. I am Whitebeard. And just what he says about, like, his sons. Like, he's really taken all of these people in. And he loves them so much. I can, like, really feel that and I can sense that. Literally, that panel, oh my god. I was literally just about to turn on the freaking camera. But then I was like, no, 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 no. I, I couldn't stop reading. I was like, no, because he's going to be fine. It's not going to happen. He's going to be fine. All the more reason to stay alive until I've guided my sons toward a br brighter future. I honestly... If YPR died, I do fear the world. Like, what would the world become? Like, he can't die. There's just no possible way. Like, honestly, there's just... It feels like if YPR died, everything would turn into chaos. Honestly, if Aitha hadn't have revived Luffy, like, yes, the hormone thing, the hormone power, only tricks his body into thinking he has energy, but it actually doesn't do anything with his injury, so he's just pushing through. But like, if Ivor hadn't have done that, Ace could have died there if nobody else used their hockey. But it's the hockey of the Supreme King. Yes, yes. Come on, Luffy just, I know Luffy hasn't had time to like really understand and accept this hockey thing, but like, just use it. Just use it. I mean, I know that's not how powers work and stuff, but like, <sighs> this is like a time of like such emotional distress. I am distressed. We need to, we need to, oh, my hands are shaking. We need to get, just get the fucking keys there, please. God, I swear to fucking God, if you don't get out the way, I'm going to kill you myself. Oh my God. Oh God, like the bridge, the bridge is right there. It's going right up to the execution place. Oh, what's the name again? Is Azuma, Imazuma, Izuma, I can't think of names right now. Inazuma is there, who was there in Impel Down as well, on either side. In can I just ask a question as well, actually? I didn't actually think to question this. Is this a glass of wine? Because if it is, I absolutely love them. I love the fact that all of this chaos is going on and they just like hold on to their wine like, <laughs> but I bet it's not actually wine. It's probably some kind of concoction or, I don't know, like something to help, I guess. But, oh my God. Oh, oh Gob, get out the fucking way. Get out the way. So uh, we're probably gonna have a fight between Luffy and Gob. Although I really do want Gob to change his heart, like change his mind. I don't care if you're a Navy officer. I'm not going anywhere, Luffy. I'm a Vice Admiral of the Navy. I don't care. I don't care. Just fucking move. Everyone's just cheering Luffy on as well. Ghost Row had free Ace, Ace's brother, come on. Oh my God, I love the fact that Boogie's like, well, he's getting more attention than me, like, what? Well. But Boogie, now it's not the time for attention, okay? The attention's not on you. We need to save Ace. Love this panel. Absolutely love, love, love this panel. Everyone like helping, everyone storming. Just, oh, and I love the fact that Wipe Yet as well is like backing Luffy 100%. He's like, everyone back Luffy up. He, he needs this help, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, it's like approval. And I know Luffy isn't out for approval or anything. He's just there for one reason alone, to save his goddamn brother. But like, oh God, it's just like so nice though. It's so great to say that because Whitebeard is literally so powerful. He has so much power in like the influence he has and just to have that behind Luffy. Oh my God. God, take a breath. Take a goddamn breath. Honestly, my channel members today as well, when I said I'm starting Marineford, they were like, remember to take breaths. And I don't feel like I've breathed. I don't think I've taken a good good enough breath since starting this arc. Like, honestly, my heart is just... Right now, just get out of the fucking way, Gop. Oh my god, right, I'm in the middle of reading this. I just have to come in here and say, Gop, I love you now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you. I haven't finished reading. I haven't finished reading. I will continue to read, but... Like, he just... Where is it? 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 Ah, oh, he closed his eyes. He closed his eyes. Luffy was approaching him, and... He remembers A saying, I still don't want to die. And he closes his eyes when Luffy comes and allows himself to be punched and knocked down so that Luffy has reached the platform. Luffy's reached the platform. Oh, wait, what's his name again? I keep forgetting his bloody name. Admiral Sengoku. Honestly, just a bit of this. A bit of that, you fucking... Do you think I'll allow you to escape? Just get away, man. Just, you've lost. You've lost. Just get the... Count. I, I do love a loyal guy, you know, and he's obviously shown his loyalty to his job, but like, just fuck off. Just fuck off. Seriously. Mr. Three, what are you doing here? Yeah, why is Mr. Three? What? Okay, I feel like I need to go back to 
few panels because my I'm not, I like to keep you myself. Make a wall to protect Ace. Yeah, come on, make, make wax, make wax. Giant balloon. Yes, candle wall. Yes, Mister Three. Execution platform is collapsing. Yeah, it is because there ain't gonna be no executions happening here today, you little prick. Make a key right now and set him free. Yes, Mister Three, do it, do it. Set him free, please. Please, 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 fire destroy them all along the platform. Go save your brother. Honestly, I will love Mr. Three forever and ever and ever and ever and ever if this key works. Go save your brother, straw hat. Oh my God, Mr. Three, I love you. I love, I love everyone who's on our side right now. Like, honestly, fire fizz is never spells right now. You can't be live. You never change, Luffy. You never do as I tell you. <laughs> and you get yourself in big trouble. Is is oh my god, I want my god, he's out of his <laughs> He's out of his chains. He's out. Oh my god. Oh my god. And even like Luffy's like ace and he's like snotty because you know that's just what we are like in in One Piece Army. We're just all like snotty and disgusting. But oh he's out. He's free. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it would do it. <laughs> Oh God, I love this panel. I love this panel so much. I want to get it printed off and framed. I want to print it off and framed. And he's literally grabbing it. Oh, <laughs> Look at how happy White is. He's not as happy as I am though. He's not as happy as I am. Absolutely not. Oh, that's the end of the chapter. Oh my God. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nothing else to say because literally I just <laughs> reacted to it. Oh, honestly, as soon as Garp did that, I was like, no, we need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. I was wrong. I was wrong about you, Garp. You did end up choosing family over your stupid job. Oh, I can breathe. I can finally fucking breathe. And now I get to say Ace and Luffy fighting together. Okay. Okay. I'm going to continue reading. I'm going to continue reading. Oh my God, I'm still reading. I'm still reading, but I thought, you know what? No, because like the fighting together, Ace and Luffy, and the fact that Ace as well was like, I never dreamed I'd see the day when you had to save me. Thanks, Luffy. And look at how, look at how happy Luffy is. Ah, look at him. Look at him. Look at his little face. Oh my God. Oh, sorry for all like the weird noises I make during this as well, but I'm just like, oh my God. Oh, I just, oh, I I'm freaking out. Like, seriously, the moment I've been waiting for for so long. Honestly, Impel Down was so stressful. In Marineford, so far, has been the most stressful I've ever been. But, like, oh, but this whole... I just want to keep, like, showing you things and, and being like, oh... But now, yeah, yeah, they're going to fight together. He's my brother. I appreciate it if you didn't hurt him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, please, like, join the Straw Hats or something, because I just want to see this more. I just want to see them fighting. I just want to see them doing the, the brother thing. And they do make, like, amazing... Oh, my God, this this panel as well. I'm loving every single panel. Look at it. Like, oh, oh, crap, my bookmark. That panel as well. I want that framed as well. Just, uh... <laughs> Fire Fist and Straw Hat. Oh, seriously, that is the, the coolest panel I've ever seen. Had to clear the way for their escape. Come on, come on. I'll surpass you one of these days, Ace. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. After, you know, after Marineford, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, they need, well, Luffy, I think, needs to, well, he knows he needs to get stronger after all of this. All right, I can stop recording now. I'll just end up wasting the battery. I just wanted to say it again because we're fighting together. Oh, my God. Okay, I finished the chapter. Oh, my God. I seriously, I can't. Oh, I'm just, uh... how do you guys expect me? To review this when like oh my god like all of this is happening like uh, you guys expect too much you do you expect too much oh wipe yet though is he like planning on sort of sacrificing himself to get all of his sons to leave like that's his final order like he wants all of them to escape and i know like squared squad but person i will learn his pronunciation the person who stabbed white beard and he's like driving the ship into the navy so that the others can have a chance to escape to atone for like what he did but white beard's like don't be silly like i'm not gonna have any of my sons well i'm not gonna bury any of my sons he says and he stops him and he's like i'm gonna die eventually anyway like just forget about it kind of thing like he's already forgiven him for what he did and i'm just like Yes, yeah, honestly, like, he's trying to make up for it. I totally get it. But, like, oh, everyone's emotions are high. I don't think they're, like, higher than mine is right now because I'm just, like, so happy. Oh, God, I'm just, oh, God. I'm literally shaking. I don't know if you can see it in the book, but I'm, like, literally shaking. But, yeah, Luffy, Ace, they're just boom, boom, boom. They're going to escape. 
And I think what did Whitebeard say as well? That there's no ship that can carry him into like the new era. So it's like, it's been a long journey, but let's finish this once and for all, Navy. So like he realizes like his own expiration date. A little bit like Goldie Roger, actually, especially since he allowed himself to get captured and executed that I discovered a few arcs back. So it's kind of like, yeah, this is Whitebeard's time. This is, you know, it, it, there's going to be a new era. And like the name of the next chapter as well is the name of this era is Whitebeard. It's going to kill me if Whitebeard does go down but I can imagine he's going to put up such an amazing fight. He's like, this is the future. Like, Luffy and Ace, they're the future of, like, the Pirate Kings and stuff. Yeah, especially the way that Whitebeard backed Luffy. He was like, everyone, forget about me. Back Luffy. Luffy's the one who's going to save Ace. And Luffy is the one who saved Ace. So it's like, oh my god, I'm like, I got chills. I'm shaking so much. I'm shaking so, so much. Oh my god. I... Right, okay. Oh my god. Like, I need to stop talking. Like, this video is going to be like 55 hours long. But it's always been a dream of mine to make like a 7 hour One Piece video. So who knows? <laughs> Guys, what the fuck am I witnessing right here? What the... That's not... That's not what... That's not what's happened. No. Don't... What? What? Uh, no. That's not, no. What? Why is the chapter called The Death of Polkas de Ace? I'm sorry, I haven't even talked about the previous chapter because this isn't happening right now. It's, it's lying. It's, it's not, this is, this is in Luffy's head. This is in Luffy's head. No, see, yeah, they're still fighting. No, they're still fighting. I'm, it, it, when it says the death of Paul Castillas, that's not what it means. That's not what it means. That's not what it, it's just, it's, it's like a metaphor or something. It's like, he just, he's like reborn or something. He's like, I don't know. It's like a new version of Ace. Sorry, I should I should talk about this chapter first, the the one before this. That's not no, that's not it's not. They were about to get away. They were about to get away and then Akeno's come and well Akeno came at the end of the chapter and was like bad mouth and whitebeard and like baiting Ace, saying like Whitebeard is like a low life and a no good and all of this, that and the other, and Ace is like, take that back, it's not true. Take back what you said, but Ace if like that's no that's not what's happened. It's not what's happened, it's not what's happened. It's Ace is like he couldn't let him badmouth Whitebeard. The name of this era is Whitebeard. That's so that was Ace saying it. And he was about to attack Luffy, but Ace got in the way, leading to This, but that's not, that's not real. That's not real. That's not real. The, the Viva card, I mean, it's like burning. It's like almost out, but it's not out. And at the start of the next chapter as well, I'm sorry, I can't talk about that chapter. I can't talk about it. I can't talk about that chapter. In the next chapter though, they're saying like he's still, he's still, it just says Ace is hit. It just says Ace is hit. He's fine. The amount of times people have been impaled, right? The amount of times people have been, even Whitebeard, right through the stomach before right through the stomach that's just it, it's 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 nothing it's nothing it just ace is hit that's all it is he's just been hit you're still alive right? yeah it's exactly he's still alive he's still alive right it, it's not it's not what i'm thinking it's not what i'm thinking no it's it's a metaphor it's a metaphor it's not no i have got a little time by sacrifice see like everyone's like sacrificing themselves like the, we wouldn't have gotten to this point we wouldn't have gotten like everyone getting to this point if ace doesn't make it okay oh my god stop it it's it, no and we're not gonna do that no anyway yes we met ace i mean i mean i like his design i do i like his design a lot looking for my kid brother he says, Podcast de Ace. But what a great introduction to Ace. I mean, I know we briefly saw him in the previous arc, but this was more like a, a personality thing. Can't you say that Firefist can't be saved? Yes, he can. It's a metaphor. It's not, it's a metaphor, okay? <laughs> And he sounds like such a good big brother as well. The way he was like to the Straw Hats, 
make sure you look after him. He's probably a handful, but yeah, please look after him. I'm just like, oh. Oh, I love it when family members care for one another. Essentially, I just love everything that Ace does. I feel like I'm Sanji, but for Ace. I'm sorry you didn't get to save me. No, he did though. He did save you. Stop it. It's not... Yeah, your wounds need treating, okay? Where's Ivor? Ace better not be in danger. That's all I'm saying. I'm terrified. I'm, I'm scared for Ace, actually. Ace is like the best big brother ever. Like, seriously. Just when he can't get any better, really. Ugh. And he's got a very stoic face on... And that's just how I remember him. But Ace is like, well, there's no point me living if I'm part of your crew. If I bow down to power, what's the point in living? I'll never live my life with regrets. Do you understand that, moron? The trigger for the major events that were to follow. What's gonna happen, guys? That's, that's a metaphor. It's not true. He's not dying. It's not true. You promised me, you, you said you'd never die. That isn't what you told me is. Commander of the second division of the White Beard Pirates Fire Fist is currently awaiting execution in the great prison of Impel Down. Shut up. Shut up. What does that mean? What does that mean? He's, so he's currently awaiting execution. What? Like Goldie Roger? And how he was awaiting... No. Well, he's gonna get saved. So the paper is now a little bit scorched. And Lola says, I'm sorry, but this person's life, it's on the verge of being snuffed out. Guys, we need to save Ace. Nobody wanted me, it couldn't be helped. Oh, Ace, you've led such a horrible life. <laughs> you don't deserve it. It's not true, it's not true. Commander of Whitebeard 2nd Division, Firefist Ace, is to be publicly executed. And they say, but if they do, that Whitebeard will take action. That's right, it'll mean war. And now the saga name is starting to concern me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to get con- Well, starting to, I've been concerned since the end of Thriller Bark. No, I've been concerned since the end of the post Aeneas Lobby arc. What? Like, this is the second arc since then? I've been concerned this entire time. Like, I'm worried, but also- He's gonna, he'll, he'll be fine because it's Luffy. Luffy will come to his senses. Once he's had his little excursion, he'll come to his senses. He'll come to Ace's rescue. I wasn't able to see your dream through to the end. But you, I know you can do it. You're my little brother. No, it's not true. It's not true. Ace. Wipe your head won't stop if you die. I won't stop. I won't, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not going to stop. There's still hope in my heart that everything's going to be fine. I have no regrets. All I wanted was to know whether or not I should have been born. God damn it, yes you did. Oh, you should have been born. As you can see, we are on a mission to save my ace. But this is just a symbol of my love. I picked Ace's hat up after his fight with Blackbeard. And I'm just saying, I'm keeping it safe for you. Wait, what? what's he saying? What's he saying? What's he saying to Luffy? And then we even got like a little bit of like flashbacks to Ace telling Luffy that they need to live their lives how they want. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm not ready for Marineford, I don't think. And it'll be a really emotional reunion between Luffy and Ace. And then they'll get off Marineford. And then maybe Ace will join Luffy in the Straw Hats. Maybe Ace will be a new Straw Hat. Thank you. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> true. <laughs> so... Uh, oh no. Uh, but didn't go through all of that to lose him now. <laughs> the end of the chapter. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh.
Oh no. We just saved him. That's not true. It's <laughs> true. It's not true. Oh. God damn it. I hate it. I hate it so much. I can't even I can't even talk about it. But we saved him. Oh god, I'm free. <laughs> oh, oh, why is it called War Peace oh, when I'm in a million of them? <laughs> oh, that hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't talk about it. I can't talk about it. I, can't. I still have chapters left of this arc, I can't talk about it. <laughs> Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I'm going to have to. I, need, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, I can't do it. Okay, I feel like I've composed myself enough now. It's been a good, good little while since I last read the chapter and I feel like I've cried myself out. I've cried myself dry. You guys didn't need to say any of that. <laughs> I might even cut out a lot of the crying that I did before while I was reading the chapter because, again, I feel like an idiot. I feel so stupid. You know, the hardest part is going to be editing this stupid video where all the way leading up to this chapter, I'm talking about like how Ace is going to be fine and all of my predictions and stuff. Hi, Tobu. All of my predictions and stuff is that he's going to be fine and stuff. And then, yeah, we literally just saved Ace to lose Ace. And I'm honestly speech, I'm just, I'm still trying to process it. I'm finding it so hard to though. Especially considering the amount of times we've had a death or something that looks like a death in the past just for it to like not actually be a death. There's still a part of me, there's still a part of me that's like, he's still alive. <laughs> but I know that's stupid. I know he's not. He's died with a smile on his face. Just like Gold Roger did. I don't know what else I can say about this chapter other than it just really, really hurt. It really, really hurt. And like, Tobu, I love the fact that you've come here now. While well, I'm talking about this, I remember Tobu after Go and Marry, the, the Go and Marry chapter, and I was inconsolable. I remember Tobu also came up to me. He's a very instinctive cat. I don't think I have anything else to say about the chapter. Honestly, I, I'm going to save the arc through for the rest of the night. There's only a few chapters left. I need to, but I need a break after this, though. I, I don't think I've accepted it yet. I don't think I've accepted it yet. I know he, well, it's portrayed that he is definitely dead. I have said Murphy as well, of course, but no, I'm, I, I don't have any more words about this chapter. I'm heartbroken, absolutely heartbroken. A Kanu, a Kanu person, I hate him so much for what he has just done to Ace. And I know, I know he died with a smile and that 
he only really wanted to know that he should have been born and that he was loved and by god damn it he was loved he was loved and that's what he got thank you for loving me oh that's all that's what he wanted and i'm going to go on to the next chapter i'm going to continue reading and then i think after this i'm i'm done i'm done I, I can't I can't do it right now. Blackbeard can get lost as well. I don't have the patience. Oh well has Whitebeard literally lost half of his face? Whoa. Like that is rather disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. Rather disgusting. But I hate hate that Admiral who killed Ace. I hate him so so much. Poor Luffy is literally like his eyes are just gone. His He's just gone. Ace is gone. Even I was like, his mind's completely crushed. He could die. And Jim Bay is taking him away. I love that they're protecting Luffy now, though, because they obviously loved Ace. And they're like, okay, we need to get Luffy out of here. So let's do that. Oh, God, guys, honestly, I'm just defeated. I'm so defeated. If he was going to kill Ace off, could he not have done the last chapter where I didn't have to, like, continue on? <laughs> Oh, yeah, Blackbeard is a coward, for one, is a coward, coming at the end of this. I'm glad Navy Headquarters is crumbling down. Hopefully this does mean that there's some kind of change in the Navy and, and the government, and hopefully it has, like, literally shaken it to its core that it's, like, bad for them in the long run. I really hope that this wasn't all for nothing. I really hope this wasn't all for nothing. Ace's last wish. To protect Luffy. How is Whitebeard still alive though? I love the fact that he's still alive. But like how? And now Blackbeard's here as well. God damn it. I started this arc out with so much hope. I'm left with nothing. I'm left with nothing. So Whitebeard is dead too now, huh? Anyone else you want to take? Hmm? Ugh. Why? Why? <laughs> I get it, I do. Without Whitebeard there now, everything's gonna turn into chaos. What about Fishman Island? You know, there's, there's lots of things that need to be answered here, but oh my God, I'm just, I just can't believe we failed. We failed. Now Ace and Whitebeard are gone. Blackbeard. Those people he released from Impel Down as well look absolutely bloody terrifying. Vasco shot. Uh, absolutely disgusting. And he still tries to fight Blackbeard too. And he does get some hits in and refuses to call Blackbeard his son. I love what he said as well before he died about Someday one will arise who will challenge the world and shoulder centuries of history. You can sever bloodlines, but their flames will never be extinguished. Obviously talking about Goldie, Roger, Ace, that bloodline. Oh my god, good, 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 This incredible panel too. I like, honestly, like, I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to be upbeat and stuff for this review, but uh, I'm finding it so difficult. I should just wait until tomorrow, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not going to sleep tonight. I'm not going to sleep tonight. I'm just going to constantly be thinking about this. Constantly, constantly, constantly. I might as well finish the arc. I want to finish the arc. There's only a couple more chapters left. But I do. I love this panel so much as well. It it looks incredible. It looks so good. I hate that black beard's there. I hate so many people right now. I really do. Oh my God, what is happening? This is not what I signed up for. I, did, I didn't sign up for any of this. Get me off. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh my gosh. Blackbeard now has two devil fruit powers. He's actually taken Whitebeard's powers from his dead body. That is sinister as hell. Blackbeard is no one to trifle with. Blackbeard honestly scares the life out of me now. Like I was a little bit scared of him before. Yeah, he was like really powerful for and stuff. But like now, I, I, I've got no words for him. He's just, he just is. And now the new era is Blackbeard, is it? Uh, yeah, everything has changed. 
I don't think my brain can handle it. Honestly, I feel like Luffy right now, you know, how he's just kind of like still out for the count, his eyes totally white. I'm just, I'm reading. I can't process it though. How in the span of a few chapters, my life force has been zapped. And the transponder snail at the start just really sets up the tone of not just this chapter, but now I think the whatever comes next, you know, in the series. In the blink of an eye, news spread through the world. The Whitebeard pirates had failed to save Roger's son, Ace, and lost their Captain Whitebeard. And also the fact that even though Whitebeard died, he didn't fall down when he died. He remained standing. What a machine. I just bit my tongue there. Ow. What an absolute machine. And uh, now the world has lost him. The world's lost Ace. I don't know if I want to be part of this new world. In all honesty. I don't want to be part of this new era. With Blackbeard. Mm -mm. I need something positive. Oh, you know what? You know what will actually make me happy? Is if the Straw Hats all get reunited again. Like, if they can be reunited by the end of this arc, I will actually be happy I feel so sad. I have no joy in me right now. I need, I need that joy. The only way that's going to happen is if the Straw Hats come back together. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I feel like I have something to live for. I was thinking, Ace isn't dead and he still isn't dead. There's still a part of me that's in denial. But I feel like the more chapters I'm reading, the less likely that's becoming. And I'm going to have to try and face reality, but I'm still part of me is refusing to. But one thing that I can latch on to right now is the hope that we will reunite with the Straw Hats. Luffy needs to come out of his, well, shock. He must be in so much shock right now. Oh, but the fact Blackbeard has two powers and he took it from Whitebeard's dead body. From his dead body. He's terrifying. Genuinely, I'm terrified of him. Is it pronounced Akanu? Please let me know down below. I want to know how to pronounce that arsehole's name so that I can... I mean, I'll end up watching Murphy's and Amber's Marineford reviews after this like I've I love watching their videos after I finished an arc but it means I'm gonna have to like relive everything that I've just went through and I don't know if I'm ready for that but I want to I need to know what they thought of this I'll probably get the pronunciation of his asshole name from them I need the straw hats I badly need the straw hats right now ah is that Trafalgar law okay I'm a little bit happy again okay I mean I'm still absolutely devastated heartbroken don't want to talk about it. But Trafalgar Law at the end here, that's definitely him, right, from Savoy Archipelago. That's definitely him, right? I, I noticed the, the symbol. I can kind of remember the symbol from, from Savoy Archipelago. And he's like, get Straw Hat in here with maybe enemies, but, you know, it'll be no fun if he dies now. I'll help him escape, leave him to me. I'm a doctor. Oh, what an absolute bay. What an absolute bay. I love him. Anybody who helps Luffy and anybody who helped Ace, I am indebted to them forever and ever and ever. Even Crocodile. I will give Crocodile my life if he asks for it, okay? But honestly, the fights just won't stop. In Jimbe protecting Luffy, no matter what, it's like Jimbe could have died right there and then. He really could have. And he still kept going. He promised Ace, he said, look, I, I, who, I don't know who you think I am. I'm not that sentimental. But if I do end up liking your brother, then yeah, we'll save him kind of thing. You know what I mean? He's a good one. He's a good one. This world is filled. If anything, this arc has shown me that the world is filled with good people who will help one another after like showing kindness, after helping and stuff like that. It's just, ah, uh, it feels like one big found family almost. Like even the white beard pirates are like, we need to save this boy. We need to protect him. It's what our pops wanted. Oh my god. Okay, I'm feeling a bit happier again. I am. I'm feeling a bit happier again now that I've seen Trafalgar Law. I've only got like two choppers left, but if Trafalgar Law can save Luffy, I will be forever indebted to him. And oh my god, if we see the Straw Hats, please, then I will genuinely cry of happiness. I really will. Oh, but that's in it doesn't stop being intense. I was hoping that by now, just get out there. Just get out there. Let me recover. I think I'm the one who needs the doctor. Honestly, I still feel like I've been punched. I feel like I've been impaled by that prick. Ah, Shanks is back. Get in. Yes, okay, brilliant. I mean, I was hoping he would come before now and like help and save the ones that we've lost. 
But Shanks is back and Colby, Colby actually speaking up against Okanu. You know, it's like, wow. And he, well, what did he mean? Like when he got punched and he was like, the voices in my head are like disappearing or something like that. That's what Colby said when he was on the ground. That's really interesting. But no, he stood up to Okanu and he's, he was like, stop, let's stop this madness. It's just bloodlust. We've did what we had to do. And now everyone's just like dying unnecessarily. Like stop. And Chang says that few seconds of courage is probably just like defined. Oh, wait, actually, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what he actually said. Let's not paraphrase because I could spread misinformation. He says, those few seconds of courage will profoundly influence the fate of this world. So it's a good job he stopped him. But Okanu, he needs to, I want Shanks to kill him. I want Shanks to decapitate him and mutilate his disgusting body. I hate him so much. Oh, also, yeah, Luffy, his straw hat, it's on the floor. So Shanks has picked it up. I guess Shanks has it back now. It's come kind of full circle, but he's not ready to have it back yet. Luffy's supposed to keep hold of it until he's ready. So it's not time yet. It's not time to give him his hat back. But hopefully Shanks will see Luffy. Hopefully Luffy gets better because Trafalgar Law now has him. And Luffy can get better. Shanks can meet up with him, give him the hat back. Well, Shanks is saying he's going to end this war. He's going to put an end to this war. And I believe you. I believe you, please. Please end it right here, right now, because I just cannot take any more. I can't. My body cannot take it. Right, anything else to say about this chapter, honestly? Oh, yeah, there's a big tidal wave on its way to Sabri Archipelago. That's going to be quite terrifying and cause probably a lot more damage, too. It's a little bit like Water 7, isn't it? What was it, Aqua Laguna? So hopefully, hopefully, the people of Sabri Archipelago will be fine because I do think that's probably where our straw hats will reunite because that was the last place they were all at. And I need these straw hats back, God damn it. I've only got one chapter left of this arc. I can't emotionally handle anything else. Glad that Trafalgar Law came back. So glad that Shanks came back. It's given me more hope. The more hope I'm getting, the better, because I've been battered black and blue. I need this last chapter to please don't give me any more surprises. I've, I have I can't deal with anything else. Please, no more surprises in this last chapter, please. I cannot tell you how glad I am that this war is over. What an absolute journey. Honestly, I... Oh, glad that Shanks is there. I love the fact that Shanks made Buggy be the one to give Luffy his hat back and got him to, like, throw it into, like, the submarine before it went so that Luffy has his straw hat, so Shanks isn't going to be the one to see Luffy and give him the hat. Of course, because that would be against our agreement, which Shanks rightly reminds us of in this chapter. And I knew it, I knew it, but I just kind of thought, you know what, he just lost his brother. His brother just died. I thought maybe you would want to say it. It's fine though, it's fine. Won't hold it against him. I love Shanks for what he did in this chapter. He really does manage to talk everyone down and stop them from continuing to have these needless battles where the loss of life will just continue to grow and grow. We don't need it. The world scene, a spectacle, they don't need any more. And I know I can't take any more. So I'm glad there were no more surprises in this chapter. <sighs> I don't know what else to say about the chapter other than it's just ended. Oh, did they have to show Ace's body again? <sighs> Love this panel. Just saying. Because I still need to focus on all the positives. I mean, not that there's any like negatives, like this was an incredible story, an absolutely glorious arc, no doubt about it, honestly. I'm just devastated, mortified, in shock. I've lost a huge part of me. I feel like I've lost a huge part of me reading this arc. I just, I had so much hope going into it and I just, I feel like it's been obliterated. We didn't see any of the straw hats again. I feel like they're still trying to escape where they are. We saw them through some of the cover stories and honestly, I'm glad we got to see them for even just a brief moment in time. It reminds me of brighter days, you know? Oh my God, that was just incredible. It was incredible. Yeah, that's the entire Marine Ford arc. I remember at the end of the Impel Down video as well, how happy I was and like how upbeat I was. I'm a fool. I'm an absolute fool. Well, what can I say? I'm an optimist. However, after this arc, I can't say confidently that I'm still an optimist. I can't. But I feel like I've just witnessed something so incredible 
with what I've just like read, what I saw through the illustrations. Fortunately, I do feel like I've got no more tears to give. When I tell you guys, I cried for the longest time after reading Ace's death. You wouldn't believe me. You wouldn't believe me. I cried so much and I feel all cried out. So I'm not going to I'm not gonna cry again. This is a promise. This is the last time that Order makes me cry. The last time. He's not He's not allowed to do it to me again. He's not allowed. I'm not gonna let him do it. It's, how has he done it to me twice now? I've never read a story before that has made me cry the way I have, the way that One Piece has. And I've only been reading it since September. I think I can safely say that this is the best story I've ever read. I'm gonna need a lot of time to process what I read. But I can say very confidently that I think it's the best thing I have read. And so obviously I'm gonna give the Marineford arc a 10 out of 10. I it, I think it's my favorite. I do. I'm gonna reevaluate soon. I'll do a, a ranking and stuff. A lot of people have asked me to do that, I'll do it. I just feel like this was pure gold. Gold day Roger, <laughs> I can't, can't believe. I just made a joke. No, we're not allowed to do that. We're not allowed to do that. I'm very upset that you all watched me get to this moment, knowing what was coming. And there's me saying, oh, Ace is gonna like join the straw house. Ace is gonna be fine. They're gonna save Ace. And you guys let me do that. I'm so grateful though, because if somebody had spoiled that for me, I would have been probably more upset with that than what actually happened. But yeah, honestly, I just feel like an absolute fool. But just know I absolutely adored this arc with my whole heart. I'm definitely gonna have to sit on it a lot more. I need to collect myself and collect my words and I'll be back. I will be back. So that is the end of my Marineford arc video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave all the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the Marineford arc. What did you think of my thoughts? Did you agree with anything? Disagree with anything? Did I say something that was wrong? Please let me know. Please correct me down below. I love chatting One Piece with you. I have been avoiding comments for the past couple of videos because of spoilers. But after what's just happened, I need comfort and I need solace in this One Piece community, so please comment down below. I wanna give a huge thank you to my patrons and my One Piece channel members. If you'd like to join my Patreon or my One Piece channel membership, then all the links are down in the description box. But yeah, I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye.